NCAA on CBS this afternoon from Rupp Arena in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. The Louisville Cardinals 10-3 against the Wildcats of Kentucky, ranked third and undefeated so far. Only 78 miles apart, this is an annual battle between these two that is very, very much anticipated. More than 23,000 on hand. Tickets are impossible to come by. And good afternoon, Bern Lundquist, Clark Kellogg. We get in for free, we got the best seats in the house. <laughs> well, let's uh, talk about John Wall, the Great Wall of Kentucky. Well, he is a, he is absolutely scintillating, Burn. You take a look at what he's doing in terms of setting up other people, second in the country in assists, but it's the way he does it. He's actually one of the best scorers in the country as well, but he does it with dynamic presence. You see the points and steals he had in that win over UConn, but he hurts you in a lot of different ways. Set the school record for assists the other night, but he makes it tough on the opposing defense because you have to respect his ability to knock down a three-point shot. So when you actually go out to that three-point line, his quickness allows him to penetrate, draw defenders, and he's a willing and excellent passer. So he creates shots for other people. Now, with ball speed and his vision and size, he gets into the seams of the op opposing team's defense and can help create shots for his teammates. And he doesn't have to have the ball to hurt you, Vern. This guy can do it at the rim as well on the alley -oop. He's terrific in all aspects. Well, for the Louisville Cardinal, Edgar Sosa, been around a while, he having had, a very good year. He's having an outstanding year. And as he goes, so go the Cardinals, Vern. This guy is a big-time shot maker in big games. Made the winning three-pointer a year ago. He's doing it off the dribble as well as from the three-point line. Now, Clark, let's take a look at today's AT&T in-game analysis. If Louisville has a chance to upset Kentucky, it has to be a about forcing turnovers and making three-point shots. For Kentucky, it's all about taking advantage of their size in the paint. And for both teams, spurt ability, the ability to put together scoring runs quickly and potently. Louisville and Kentucky from Lexington. Tip is next. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by GEICO, where 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. AT&T, a better 3G experience. And by Lowe's, for all your home improvement needs, Lowe's, let's build something together. Head coach of the Louisville Cardinal, ninth season, Rick Pitino, coming back to where he coached for eight years. And the starting five for the Louisville Cardinal, Edgar Sosa, Jerry Smith, two four-year seniors in the backcourt. Reginald Delp, Samardo Samuels, and Jared Schwapscher up front. For the unbeaten Wildcats of Kentucky, John Wall, Eric Bledsoe, two freshmen, Darius Miller, the sophomore. DeMarcus Cousins, the third of the three starting freshmen, and the veteran Patrick Patterson having a very solid year. And in his first year as head coach at Kentucky, John Calipari. <laughs> Officials today, Tony Green, Doug Shows, John Cowell. Just another average Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Well, that five-page pullout in the sports section indicates it's anything but that here in Lexington. The Battle of the Bluegrass. Louisville comes in having won its last five and playing better at the defensive end. And that's what's going to have to happen here on the road. They've got to turn Kentucky over and knock down threes to have a chance to pull the upset. There's an early whistle inside. It was called on Eric Bledsoe, well away from the ball. Doug Chow's with a call. Tony Green now, the official, is going to have a little bit of a conversation with Bledsoe. Yeah. And Bledsoe already having words. He's actually going to be taken out because it's already chippy. Yeah. Reginald Delt, the nephew of Tony Delt, the former Kentucky standout and now an assistant on the bench. And Eric Bledsoe still out of hand. 
here, and John Calipari trying to get, that's one of the things to keep an eye on, Bert. This Louisville team has experienced veteran guards. This is the first time that a guy like Bledsoe, as a freshman, is dealing with this kind of intense heat and rivalry. What a fascinating start to this game. Now eight seconds in, Bledsoe on the bench. Slusher. Jerry Smith. Another foul. Yeah, another wrestling match. Yep. Challenge of the call again. I tell you what, right now this young Kentucky team is going to have to really reel its, in, reel its emotions in. They're intense. They've heard about the intensity of this rivalry. Now you have to be able to get yourself under control and lock into taking care of business between the lines. 23 seconds played, two fouls on Kentucky. That was on Darius Miller. Up and under, and the block comes from John Wall. I think they may have gotten an offensive foul call there, Vern. They did. It's on Samardo Samuels. Wow, these guys are ramped up and amped up already, but at some point, you've got to idle down and play basketball. Wall and Patterson together across the timeline. This is Patterson. Zone defense by Louisville. Miller looks inside to Marcus Cousins. Loose ball on the floor. There's the battle for it. Still loose. Hell ball. Possession arrow. And again. Wow. This is out of hand. This is completely out of hand. Tactical foul on Swarthman. I tell you what, I think DeMarcus Cousins got away with an elbow to Schwabshire. As they were tussling for that ball, he gave him a little bit of a wrestling move, it appeared. We're going to take a look at it now. Loose ball, good double down on the low post. Scrum, now Schwabshire. Now Cousins is there, and there it is right there. See, yes. he gave him an elbow with the right elbow. Yes, he did. He, he, he took him down into the floor with the little extra chicken wing, and they're looking at the monitor right now to determine what transpired there. And there may be a flagrant foul call here on DeMarcus Cousins because that clearly was unnecessary and excessive. Loose ball action, no problem here. And then watch DeMarcus Cousins. There's there it is the right there. Oh, yeah. There's he there's might, that, that might warrant potentially ejection. Well, I tell you what, the venom that's been building over the last few weeks boiling over here in the first 45 seconds. They're looking again. There have been additional fouls assessed. We've not been told. Delk was also, Reginald Delk with a foul. Now watch this again, Clark. Here's the nasty moment right there. There, there. right there. Yeah, that's right to his face. That's probably objectionable. I mean, that's, yeah, that, that's, un, that's, that's uncalled for. Ramon Harris, the senior who came on for Bledsoe, number five, rushed at Cousins and pointed to his head and said, use your head yeah. here. Well, when emotions get involved, Vern, you oftentimes don't act rationally, and that's what's happened here. A quick whistle early on a foul by Bledsoe, and here we take a look at this replay again. Good action here. Nothing wrong here. Swapshire is just tied up, and then when... DeMarcus Cousins gets on top of him. That's um, totally unnecessary and uncalled for. I think that would warrant ejection. I mean, that's a flagrant foul that would warrant ejection from the game. Well, the uh, three all officials, about they're yeah. still talking. John Cowell, Doug Chows, Tony Green. This game is not a minute old. 45 seconds have elapsed. Patino watches and waits. Calipari does the same. Cousins on the floor, ambling back to his teammates now. Calipari's going to call his five over. And that's a good move. No reason to be out on the floor. Get yourself composed. Lock into what needs to happen. And we'll see what the officials deem here. But that was that was flagrant, Vern. I, mean, I thought so. You look at it here. A mad scramble. Swapshire hasn't done anything. He's just trying to get the ball. And then... Also been assessed to number 15, Demarcus Cousins. Unsportsmanlike technical. 
Well, he's fortunate there. That was an unsportsman technical right. because he did extend that arm out. And anytime you get up into the face and head area with that kind of a, a blow, the fact that they were scrambling for the ball may have saved him a bit. And now Patino, Calipari, and the three officials have a meeting at midcourt. Six fouls in the first 45 seconds of this uh, basketball game. Well, in this type of intense rivalry, it's important that the officials grab hold of it as quickly as possible. And I think that's why you saw the initial foul call on Bledsoe right. when he grabbed Reginald Delt. And now let's see if these two teams can settle down and play basketball. Bledsoe still seething, but it, he's going to have to get himself under control. He can't help his team if he's thinking about revenge. DeMarcus Cousins will be at the line. And this will be because of the Swapshire technique. Right. So As he'll he shoot too. Yeah, Swapshire took offense to being slammed, having his face slammed to the floor with the Cousins forearm. And when he retaliated, he got whistled for the technical. And then upon review of the whole incident, DeMarcus Cousins also picked up an unsportsmanlike technical. Cousins hits them both. Let's see if we can get basket totals and point totals to surpass the foul totals yep. here over the next. Well, we've minutes. had six fouls, two free throws, no field goals attempted. Zone defense here by Louisville, and they'll look to really trap the ball when it gets inside. And if you're wondering that, uh, that's the rebound by Cousins. He's got the first four points of the game. Cousins called for the unsportsmanlike technical. But no free throws are involved with that particular call. Rebound. Into the hands of Darius Miller. Now back to John Wall. Really important that Louisville rebound out of this zone that you saw in that last possession. Cousins, who has been absolutely terrific all year long on the backboard, beat Louisville to that second shot opportunity. Well, they're trying to get it inside now. Here's Cousins. He's got it. Low post jumper. He's got six points. A little harassment in the backcourt. Kyle Couric is coming on the uh, on the floor now for Louisville, replacing Delk. Jerry Smith. Picked up by Ramon Harris. playing in the half court execute well offensively and get good shots and knock them down so so nice nice block by wall holy cow and he's dangerous in transition burn no look pass right side in and out tip no jerry smith with a rebound for the Cardinals. spot up three swapshire no air ball But I think that's the kind of shot Louisville has to look to take in transition before Kentucky gets his defense set, push the ball up the floor, space out, and try to drive it or knock down open threes. That's a good look for shot Swapshire. He just was airing on the shot. Miller. Smith comes at him defensively. There's the double team on the bounce. And a kick out pass. Wall three. Nope. Smith takes it away. Jerry Smith had six rebounds the other night. So when you're playing the zone defense and you're smallest as Louisville is, it's really important that your guards dig back in there to help you on the defensive glass. Things seem to have settled down now for that uh, tenacious start. We played 315. Sosa. Doesn't know the shot clock. Three on the shot clock. Doesn't know it. And he's got to go over Patterson. 
Off the front rim, still nothing. And a foul called on Wall. Samardo Samuels will go to the wall. Yeah, excellent work by Samardo Samuels that time. He was one-on-one -on -one with a smaller player on that weak side board and then just kind of undershot what was an easy layup attempt, but he will get to the foul line. And both of these teams will be glad for that first media timeout. <laughs> Because a game like this, every game you play, your adrenaline is up. But in a game of this magnitude, with the intense rivalry that's, that's part of this, it even it, it, it picks up even more. So it takes you a little time to get that second win and really settle yourself down. Uh, Cousins is going to rest. Harris is going to rest. Bledsoe, who went to the bench eight seconds in, is back on the floor. Daniel Orton has come on the floor as well for Kentucky, and at long last, Louisville uh, gets on the board. And it's really important that they do that so they can do this, Mark. Steele, to get into their full court. Sosa, front. put back, no! Boy, they missed two layups here. Whoa. And it's important for them to score because now they get a chance to get into their full court pressure, which has really been pretty good of late. Louisville 0 for 6. From the field. And a couple of those have been point blank layups, Mark. There's Sosa. Rejected by Orton. A lot of shot blocking at the rim for Kentucky. They average eight a game, and Orton denying that opportunity by Sosa. Gary Smith. Boy, Orton and Samardo Samuels really fighting inside there. Smith wrestles his way inside. Travel. They're going to get a breather. No, nope, not yet. Not quite. Not quite. We're second away. Yeah, exactly. 16 minutes to go first half. 6-1. I like what Kentucky has done in the half-court offense. They've really made an effort to throw that ball inside to DeMarcus Cousins. Here's Wall. Orton. Knocked out of bounds. Here's the timeout. Both teams need a little bit of a breather. then Kansas, and Duke currently in fourth position, Syracuse is fifth. You know what the overall record? You see this? Yeah. Kentucky's all-time record, 2002, 635, and one. Oh, a tie. They got a tie. I knew I'd confuse you. Yeah, I didn't know you could. Uh, it had to be a long time ago to yeah. have a tie in hoops. Thank you for asking. <laughs> 1918, Kentucky, and Kentucky Wesleyan, 21 all. It resulted from the scorer's error. They didn't discover it until both teams had gone over. What the heck? Keep it in there. Give it to Bobby Bowden. <laughs> or Paul Bryant, maybe. <laughs> Who had a background at Kentucky. 6-1. Not the start we expected to see. Well, you knew it was going to be intense. Emotions got carried away there both ways, and now you hope you settle down. Both teams will settle down and play basketball. And I think that's what we will see. Foul was called on Couric. And that means Kentucky in the half court will look to throw that ball inside on a regular basis. Good activity in the zone here by Louisville. So touch uh, pass outside for Patterson. Working around the perimeter. Harris, no. Rebound Couric. Here comes Sosa. Louisville yet to score a field goal. 
And we played four minutes and 40 seconds. Well, a quick double team by Kentucky. Nice job by Samuels to dribble out of it. Yes. Well, we uh, we mentioned at the outset these two uh, universities, 78 miles apart, and uh, this one got off to an explosive start. Bledsoe being counseled by his coach Calipari, and here's the uh, we thought it was a flagrant foul, not so called. It was a unsportsmanlike technical. After Swapshire had already been called the technical foul. because he responded to right. that shove while he was on the ground, but I'm glad to see Cousins able to be still a part of this game, quite honestly, Vernon. It was a dangerous play, but at the same time, it was heated, a scrum on the floor, and I think the officials handled it appropriately. Cousins getting a rest for break now, and I'm not sure. There's a call reversed. I didn't see it. It's Louisville ball. No turnover. That's the that's the rule. Cardinals will inbound. Samardo Samuels guarded by Orton. Closely guarded by Orton. Find Sosa. 15 to go first half. Look at Patterson. Now here's John Wall. No numbers. Left side, Bledsoe, outside open three, bingo, Patterson, 9-1. Back to Sosa. Good man-to-man -man defense here by Kentucky Vern. Active on the ball, doing a good job fighting. It's Daniels inside. I'll tell you, there was a battle with Orton and Samardo Samuels. And Orton's going to be called for the foul. They've been doing a lot of oh. hand fighting. They've been doing a lot of yes. upper body fighting ever since Orton came into the game. Orton's going to get a rest. That's his second foul. And so Cousins is back on the floor. Already 16 fouls on Kentucky, so that might be a way for Louisville to get itself going offensively if they can get into the bonus and knock down some foul shots. Foul on Bustles, who's quickly uh, on the ledger. He just entered the game. Rakeem Buffles, number four. Patino remaining placid in the face of all this. Here's Bledsoe. He's got a little speed, does he not? Up and under, no good by Cousins. Rebound Cardinals. We played almost six minutes. They still have not scored from the floor. Quick hands, Bledsoe. Got it. Now they've got numbers. Great pass. That's why he's special, man. That's why he's unique, because he never holds on to the ball longer than he needs to in transition. In and out at the other end. Patterson off the feed from all. Here they come again. And they are up 11 to 1. Entry pass. Cousins rejected. Loose ball. Bledsoe. No. Here's Preston Knowles. Oh, dear. Tried to muscle his way into the basket. Nice push ahead here by Wall. And that's Patrick Patterson running the floor. That's beautiful fast break basketball. As soon as Wall got it, his head was up, and he gave it to Patterson on target on time. And that's as easy as it gets in transition. At the other end, Knowles drew the foul from Harris. Goes to the line. He's not been there that much this year. This will be only his 10th free throw attempt. He's 8 for 10 for the year. Well, Knowles knew he was going to get some contact there from Harris. Had he been alert to what was around him, he had a layup for his teammate if he would have just dropped that ball back off to Sosa. Harris goes down to the end of the bench. He's substituted for and He's going to get a little medical attention. Wall travel. Yeah. 
My goodness, John Calipari disagrees with the call. <laughs> I'm shocked. Well, that's one of the things that Louisville will try to do to disrupt John Wall. Try to keep it out of his hand. Apply that full court pressure to maybe get him out of control a bit. This is Buckles, number four. Knowles, number two. Jerry Smith. Siva, highly recruited freshman, is out there, number three. Offense. That's Terrence Jennings. Right. Moving on the screen, and that's a point of emphasis this year. The illegal screens, the officials are going to be very cognizant of guys setting on ball screens. Wall, Patterson. Darnell Dotson's on the floor now. Number three, he's got the ball. Bledsoe's also out there. And DeMarcus Cousins. Here's Cousins with the ball. Kick out, nice cut. Up and under and go. And Bledsoe reaches out and taps it loose. He settled down, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. You're right, Vaughn. He's a terrific player. He's been a bit overshadowed by the bright light of John Wall, but in his own right, this young man's an excellent defender, a fiery competitor, as we've seen. And he plays bigger than he is. He's only about 6'1", but long arms and tremendous bounce and excellent strength make him a guy who can play both guard positions effectively. Knowles. Well, nothing easy for Louisville in the half court. Kentucky really doing a nice job this in the half court defensively. I hate to see what more they are. Wow. There's an open shot. Still scoreless from the field. Jerry Smith blocked. Cousins. Well, we're nearing our second timeout. That'll be after eight minutes have been played, and Louisville yet to score from the floor. Loose ball. Siva for the Cardinals. Buckles. Jumper. Tip. Louisville's now 0 for 12 from the field. Dotson. Everything for Louisville in the half court. Jerry Smith lost it. Tipped out of bounds by Kentucky. We have played eight minutes and 34 seconds. All Kentucky so far, and part of the reason is Kentucky executing on offense. Bledsoe going to get in here and penetrate, and then we've got Patrick Patterson trailing, and Bledsoe going to hit him with a beautiful pass after he draws defenders, and we call this a trailing three. Penetration, drive, draw defenders, and kick, splash that three T square. And Patrick Patterson now has made 10 three-point field goals this season after only attempting four in his first two seasons combined. Martin, they're sharing the ball. Patterson popping outside. 15 to three. We played 8:34 in the first half. Kentucky six of 14 from the field. Louisville 0 for 12. Preston Knowles. Still nothing. And no second shot opportunities as Kentucky doing a nice job on the defensive glass. And the Kentucky defense in the half court has really been excellent for him. John Wall. Rotations have been good. Ball pressure has been good. Challenging shots. Wall puts it on the floor. And away from the ball, we've got Cousins and Samardo Samuels. I thought so. Daniel Martin, and that foul was called on Samuels. That's number two. Sosa back on. See those Samuels still. Pleading for an explanation. Not getting one. And we are in the bonus for Kentucky. Horton at the line. Freshman out of Oklahoma City. Tell you what, Swapshire and uh, 
Dotson got into a little shoving match. Off the glass, still nothing. Follow, and finally. I think that was Samardo Samuel who came through and got that tip in. Louisville has to play in the open court, John, to keep that Kentucky half-court defense from being as bothersome. The only way that, that happens is, one, they've got to get stops and then push that ball up quickly, and then they've got to get some scores so they can get into their full-court pressure right. to have a chance to get some easier scoring opportunities. CBSSports.com, your destination for complete college basketball coverage. Get the latest polls and predictions, plus commentary from college hoops expert Gary Parrish. It's all at CBSSports.com. Patterson at the line. Well, I can't for the life of me figure out his struggles from the line. You know, in his first two years, Vern, he's a 75% right. free throw shooter. Right. He's hovering at right around 61, 62 this year. And I was here a few weeks ago when they played North Carolina. It seems like they're all long. He's overshooting those free throws. He's got an excellent touch. He just has got to be something mental with him. Draws the double here. That's out of bounds. Touch last by Dotson. So it will be uh, Louisville ball. Might be a matter of confidence with Patterson, you would think a guy who's improved his three-point shooting would be able to continue to shoot well from the foul line. Loose ball, timeout call. DeAndre Liggins off the bench with the timeout call after the steal. Hey, NFL on CBS coming up tomorrow. We'll wrap up with the playoff package. Double header. Steelers and the Dolphins to lead in the first game. The nightcap, Ray Lewis and the Ravens. They go on to Oakland. If Baltimore wins, they're in. And it all begins with JV in the quartet. Here's the playoff picture. Quick, speed readers. <laughs> well, the Jets and Baltimore, yep. of course, win and in. Either one. No, well, not either. Win and in, both. Yep. Yeah, that's right. 10.20 to go near the midway point. Dotson too far underneath. Another foul. It's on Buckles. That's number two. And Dotson goes to the free throw line. This is only the 14th free throw he's attempted this year. Yeah, he's pretty much a perimeter shooter. An excellent stroke. Made six threes and a win over Hartford earlier this week. And is shooting 43% from the three-point line this season. So he's a guy that takes advantage of John Wall penetrating and breaking down defenses to get easy shots for guys like Dotson. Patterson gets a rest and Perry Stevenson comes on for the Kentucky Wildcats. Two for two for Dotson. Does have a nice shot. Mm -hmm. Excellent stroke, good rotation. Now, can Louisville find a way to knock down a perimeter shot? They are one of 15. Rejected by Stevenson. Wall, one on two. Hell oh, ball! Yes, excellent. Oh, boy. I thought that was Preston Knowles who got in there and put yes. his hand right on top of that orange. I say, oh boy, because I knew the crowd was going to come up <laughs> as one on that one. I think this is a fantastic defensive play by Noel. Yep. He never gave up on it, got his body in excellent position, and got his hand right on top of the ball. And the arrow was pointing the red that way. Here's Sosa. He can't find anything underneath. Loose ball. Taking away Wall. Right side, Stevenson. In the corner for three. Well, we talked about these teams needing to settle down, and I think Kentucky has from that emotional boiling point right. that we had in the first couple of minutes. Louisville has yet to get itself into a rhythm offensively. Some of it is Kentucky's defense, but Louisville is playing too emotionally. They're playing too fast and too quick. They're not allowing the game to come to them. They're not seeing open guys. They're making errant passes. They're taking challenge shots. I mean, they're totally out of kilter. Ten turnovers. Wow. One field goal. And the youngsters here are wearing white. Exactly. And 
Kentucky not really running away. I mean, a 12-point deficit, you would think they should be up 25. Right. 8.40 to go, first half. 17-5. Jumper, Knowles, off the front rim. Rebound, Cousins. Puts it in the hands of Walls. That's always a good to see. <laughs> you got that right. Very smart. Dotson. DeAndre Liggins is on the floor. Suspended for the first nine games of the year. That's uh, an unexplained suspension. And this foul is called again on Louisville. It's on Buckles. That's his third. Cousins at the line. What's here? DeMarcus Cousins will shoot two. And I tell you what, this big fella has really been impressive. He's averaging 15 points, nine rebounds a game in 19 minutes of playing time. You know, some guys play 32, 34 minutes to get right. those numbers. And don't even get them when they play that much. Already six points and nine rebounds today. And he's actually shot the ball well from the foul line over his last six or seven games. 27 of 32 in his last six games from the line. That's excellent free throw shoot. Well, yeah, guess where he came from. He's, he's shooting 64% for the year now. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So right, he was right, down, right, in the, right. he was in the bottom of the well. Right, yeah. Yeah, he was in the bowels of free throw percentage shooters. <laughs> yeah. And of course you brag on him. There you go, but they get the loose ball. Oh, oh, but it's good. No. Well, this has to be driving Rick Pitino absolutely crazy. His team that played well recently and now loose balls they can't squeeze. On the screen, travel. And yet for all of that, Vern. It's a 12-point deficit. Exactly. They are still maintaining contact here. Any kind of segment of decent play and shot making, and Louisville's right back in it. We haven't seen any yet. There you see the turnover numbers. And that was something that Louisville was going to have to win today, I thought, to have a chance for turnover game. And right now, they're losing it in big fashion. And here they find themselves back in the half-court set. Jennings. Delp. Sosa, shot clock at 10. Patterson back on the floor for Kentucky. Jumper, too strong. Over the back, I think we got Jennings with a foul. Time called, 7.30 to go, first half. Yep, second and none. Check on the second and none. Well, two uh, lines seem significant to me, Clark. That second line on the left, yeah. one of 18. Unbelievable. And the fourth line on the left, yeah. 10 turnovers. Exactly. Louisville comes in forcing 21 turnovers a game in the last five and only averaging about 12 or 13 themselves. And the offense has just been AWOL. Cardinals have been very inept offensively. They had a couple of layup opportunities early that they did not convert. And then the other shot attempts, the number has been forced and challenged. There you see a mishandling of the basketball there, one of the ten turnovers. So there you, Ralph Willard to the left, Rick Pitino there. Trying to see if there's something that can get his team going offensively. This is only the second road trip they've taken this year, Louisville. They went out to UNLV, and Patino scheduled that game as kind of a uh, uh, a trip for his kids, yep. young men, to get used to the kind of crowd noise they were going to get here. Exactly, a kind of a prelude, a dress rehearsal, if you will, and they have not handled it well. Lost out there, but Patino not upset with his team. He was a little more angry when they lost twice at home. Yeah, so this is only the second road trip of the year for the Cardinals. Swapshire's back on the floor. So is Dell, Terrence Jennings, Jerry Smith, and Sosa. The pick and roll and the switch. Patterson's on Sosa now. Dell. 
Sosa, two on the shot clock. Nothing available. Nothing is there. And you see the Louisville fouls have started to really add up. Only Orton in any kind of foul trouble so far for Kentucky. Ball. There's a little bit of pressure applied by Louisville. Harris. Wall. Tries to do a little alley-oop. Gets the uh, loose ball. Kicks it outside. There you go. Nope. Smith with another rebound. Yeah, he gets in there for a guard and does a nice job. But Louisville not able to take advantage of missed shots to get in the transition. They walk it up in Kentucky back into that Saran wrap like half court defense. Bledsoe on Smith. No real penetration now. They've got to knock down some threes if they're not going to penetrate. Yeah. Rubber him again. If you're not going to penetrate and draw defenders in, you've got to really move crisply and sharply, set solid screens, and then knock down perimeter shots. Six minutes to go, first half. Steal. This ought to be two. It is. But it was more difficult than I thought. Because of the hustle of Bledsoe. Yeah. I mean, he really made Jerry Smith think about how he was going to attack that fast break layup. Second field goal for the Cardinals in the first half. And again, Clark, they're only down 11. It's only down 11. If they, you know, if they can put together a decent segment, I talked about spurtability for both of these teams at the top. In order for Louisville to have any, they've got to force some turnovers. Wall. Closely guarded three-point attempt. Here's Sosa. Bit of crossover. Delk for three. Uh -uh. Loose ball. That's a good job attacking, though, early in the offense. Penetration by Sosa. Got a wide-open three-point look for an excellent three-point shooter in Delk. Harris is on Jerry Smith. Wall on Sosa. Now the switch, and Stevenson has it. Now they're working deep into the shot clock again. Nine to go. Jumper Smith. There. And last. It doesn't take many of them there. No. It doesn't take many. And he's a guy, a senior, battle-tested, fiery. Said he's healthy and fully recovered from the Achilles strain that he had that kept him out of a game or two. So they'll have to look for him to provide some spark and leadership. Bledsoe drives the lane, puts it up, tipped out. Patterson and Wall. Jumper. Rebound Louisville. They're only down eight with four to go in the first half. Despite an abysmal start, here's Wall with the steal. Two on two. Bledsoe brings it back outside. I mean, it's been a little messy both ways. Well, yes. <laughs> Messi's a good term. <laughs> One of many we could use here. And a turnover by Kentucky. And we'll get a chance to exhale here a little bit, partner. Sloppy, messy. NCAA basketball on CBS. He helped rich Americans hide billions in a Swiss bank. Now he's opening the secret vault and telling 60 Minutes how it was done Sunday. Happy New Year from The Late Show. Monday, Dave's All New with Michael Sarah and Accidentally on Purpose star Jenna Elfman. Plus, later this week, catch Amy Adams and Terry Hatcher. Welcome back to Lexington. Clark, let's take a look at today's AT&T in-game analysis. Well, for Louisville, we thought turnovers force would be a factor. They've actually committed 11 and only made one of seven threes. Points in the paint for Kentucky. A good advantage there in their spurt ability. Kentucky, after things settled down from a, an emotional start, got off to the 11-0 run. And some other numbers we might throw at you. 9 of 44 combined shooting between these two teams. Two of 14 from the three-point line and 19 turnovers between both teams. I guess the one thing is it's 
a competitively close game from a scoring standpoint in that Louisville, despite the abysmal offense, is only down eight with the ball. Well, what comes to mind after your explanation is lipstick and pigs. <laughs> 3.30 to go. <laughs> you know, and we, we made such a hair as the up and under from Turek. The follow is good. Jennings, we made such a point of Louisville getting off to the 1 of 18 strike the field. And here's Kentucky hitting 27%. And a 7-0 run for Louisville now. So we've had two, not, I wouldn't call them power surges, but two little spurts. Right. One for Kentucky at the start and one now for Louisville. Dotson. There's the follow from Cousins. Good job of walking out, and he was right there to put it back. 20 to 12. This kid has a world of talent. Strong, light feet, good hands, moves in the post. He just has to continue to be coachable and grow. He's going to be a real force. Here's Knowles. Nice. But a good defensive job by Patterson. And the shot came up short. Wall to Bledsoe. Preston Knowles there defensively. Not there now. And Curry moves in and grabs the loose ball. He's an excellent rebounder on both backboards, Vern. Just has a real knack for getting to loose balls. Swapshire. Huh. And Cousins was there. All for the shot. 2-10 to go, first half. Spin move. And a basket. John. This is what you call spectaculating. John Wall, the agitator in the wash on the spin move, and then the bucket in the rinse. Ball on the line, over. He is special, Vern. His first field goal. And a free throw. And he is lethal in the open court. Yeah. He can go both ways. He's got excellent body control. And I think he's got about six different gears of speed with the ball. And I would say to all Kentucky fans, enjoy him this year. <laughs> enjoy the journey, or however long it lasts. Yeah. Here's Noel's crossover. Drive. Too strong. Darnell Dotson, number three, has the ball. Has the pass back. In and out. Tip by... Liggins. DeAndre Liggins with the tip. Patino calls timeout. Well, we're going to move to Knoxville next week. Either 1.30 or 4.30, depending on the NFL playoffs. And uh, Clark will have a chance to look at uh, the Kansas Jayhawks. Stop by a deserving number one ranked team will face a challenge on the road later this evening as they take on the Temple Owls. Brand Dumpy's team off to a nice start. But Kansas, when you look at experience, talent, size, depth, coaching, all of the ingredients you think about in having a championship caliber team, I don't know if any team has as much as Kansas does in those areas. Uh, Tennessee, four players dealing with some legal difficulties yeah. now, suspended. We'll see how that evolves. Final 120, ball into the stands, touch last by John Wall. Coming up on at t at the half, Tim Brando, Seth Davis, will get you caught up on all the scores and highlights of a busy day in college basketball. That's coming up on at t at the half. So, after a 7-0 run by Louisville, Kentucky follow with a 7-zip run. Now Louisville just has to try to get something positive going before getting to the locker room at halftime. Tip and put in. Jennings. Under a minute to go. Patterson has it. Over likes to double in the post when the post player puts it on the floor. Quick double that time. Yeah, it was before the dribble. And it's on the shot clock. Good call, Vernon. So Louisville has to be aware of that. A 
set their defensive court and the nice job by Terrence Jennings who's had a solid segment here in the last five minutes or so. Patterson whoa. Twenty seconds to go. Patterson twelve of Kentucky's twenty seven points. Well he had twenty two points and fifteen rebounds in the loss last year in Louisville. The call by John Cow is Arnell Dotson. Grab Delk in an effort to get to that loose ball, but this will still give Kentucky an opportunity, perhaps for the last shot of the half. Free throws coming for Delk. Reginald Delk. Again, not uh, not a frequent visitor to the free throw line. This will be his 11th of the season. Young man who transferred from Mississippi State. And uh, Clark mentioned earlier his uh, cousin, right? Tony Delk. Uncle, uncle, uncle. I knew from the look in your eyes. I knew <laughs> there was a family connection. Yeah, right, right. But you didn't want to confirm. Uh, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's Tony's nephew. Yes, thank you. Tony Delk, a great start at Kentucky. So many ties between these two teams. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, of course. The most uh, recognizable. Oh, it's a steal. Knowles. Nope. He got fouled, though. Yes, he did. Wow. And he'll shoot three. Yes, he will. Foul behind the line. There's the pressure. Good no call there, and clearly Knowles behind the three-point line. We'll have a chance to bring Louisville a tag closer. Kentucky still with time after these free throw attempts to get the last shot of the half. Two more. And one. Darius Miller back on now. Bledsoe will sit out the final three point nine. Knowles three for three. And that cuts the margin to eight. Tip, stolen, dealt. Halftime. Wow. Well, Louisville has to feel good that they're only down eight right now, Vern. That's the end of the first half. Kentucky leading 27-19. Now let's go to Tim Brando in our New York studio for AT&T at the half. Timmy? All right, Vern, thank you. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Seth Davis and I will have all of the action, including number five Syracuse Falls from the ranks of the unbeaten after this message and the word from your local station. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Sears. Life well spent. Coca-Cola. And by State Farm. To us, nothing's more important than being there. Full house on hand. They've seen uh, anything but a Picasso here. 27, uh, maybe it looks like a Picasso. That <laughs> little modern art. 27-19. And uh, John Wall has played well, though. He's done okay considering the fact that the emotions boiled over for both teams, Vernon. Because of that, sloppy basketball persisted. But John Wall showing you what he can do defensively. And here, one of his two assists. Just an excellent job to push that ball ahead early in transition. And then doing what John Wall does so well in transition. Finding a way to get to the rim. All right, take a look, Clark, at the uh, Bud Light first half stats. Boy, you look at that shooting. A combined 15 of 59, only 2 of 16 threes. Kentucky doing what we thought they would do. Points in the paint, plus 8 there. No assists for Lord and 12 turnovers and they have to be ecstatic that they're down eight. Yeah. Trailed by as many as 13. Kentucky got off to an 11 to 1 start and it took the Cardinals almost 10 minutes to get their first field goal and yet. Well let's see if the emotions have cooled enough to have a basketball game break out here in the last 20 minutes. Let's uh and Wall Patterson Cousins here's Bledsoe for three. Gets his own follow, and a nice little layup 
without the drives. Well, Louisville started in that zone defense, and you have to rebound out of it. If you force the long perimeter shot, then you need to rebound the miss. Samuels gets his own miss. Misses the putback and a nice touch by Swapshot. Wall carried it. Once they turned it over, the pressure, that's the fifth turnover on Wall. And that's what Louisville wants to do, Vern. They want to score the basketball so they can get into the full court pressure and try to speed up. And John Wall is extremely fast, and he's very good with the ball going at a high rate of speed. But Louisville feels like they can get him going maybe faster than even he wants to if they can apply the full court pressure after scoring. In the meantime, Darius Miller got a quick hook. He's on the bench. Samuels drives the lane and then comes up short with a shot. Won't get a better look than that. Right? Not at all. Bledsoe on the floor. Beauty. I like what Bledsoe did there. Really attacked that zone before it was established and set up. Reginald Delk. Smith trying to shake loose of Bledsoe. Nice move in the lane. Oh, the boy, that was really well done. That's a strong drive. So you go in there, you have to be under control, and you have to go in there with strength, Burn on balance, understanding what's available, and then shoot it with conviction. Don't go in there hoping to make shots. There's the double on the dribble. And the shot in and out. And traveling is called. Nice job here by Depp. Look at him fight off the defender. Knew he was going to be challenged by the big guy, although Cousins did not get his body in front of him. And then dealt with a strong finish as he concentrated on scoring the ball and did not worry about contact. Calipari with uh, another quick hook. He puts Cousins alongside. and I think that's why he got hooked. He, got, he didn't step in and protect the paint. Protect the basket area. Delk. Yes! Guess what? Louisville's within five. Steal by Smith. One on two. Takes it all the way. Loses it in the lane. Kentucky fans thought he might have pitched a tenth there. Ball on the floor. Here's Wall with an elbow. There's Samuels. And he falls over the rim. Wow. But I think this is the pace that Louisville wants most of the game the rest of the way. They want it a little more frenetic. That does open up the floor for Wall. But I think it also opens up opportunities for Louisville not to have to play in the half court. Sosa whips it over to Swapshire for three. Timeout. Kentucky. John Calipari. Off the bench. Sixteen fifty-three to go in this one. Let's take a look, Clark, at who's hot and who's not in college basketball. Well, you see Texas still unbeaten. Michigan continues to struggle. Kansas State behind the outstanding play of junior guard Jacob pulling 20 points a game, 44% three-point shooting. Frank Martin's team off to a terrific start. And then Florida after the quick start. Had some turbulence here recently, but still a good-looking young team for Billy Donovan. Uh, we're going to get to see Texas in a few weeks uh, against UConn in stores. That's right. UConn got a good win today against Notre Dame after losing on the road at Cincinnati earlier in the week. Here's Bledsoe. Four-point game now. Cardinals have crawled right back into it. And we talked about Spur to Billy. A nice little run here over the last three and a half minutes for Louisville. No turnovers so far this half, and four of eight shooting, and a couple of threes. So that's exactly the recipe. Buckles throws Orton. <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, WWE move. <laughs> good. We saw plenty of that in the first half. Yeah. yeah. And that's and that's the fourth foul on Buckles. So he's going to quick, uh, quickly head to the bench. And Swapshire, who got a very brief breather, is back on the floor. Well, that could be a big loss because Buckles is a guy who gives Louisville some size and activity up front. And with the four fouls now, he'll probably sit for quite some time. Into his zone. Well, he 
so solid. Oh. Just doesn't force things, always seems to be under control. But a nice job finding the soft spot in the zone there. Very efficient line for Patterson so far today. Six of eight, 14 points. Swap shy, gets Patterson to leave his feet. Entry pass, Samuels tipped by Orton. And here's John Wall, no numbers, but he's got such great speed, it doesn't matter. they not making a difference. If you don't choke him off early, he's choking you off. You have to get to him way before the half court line. If you don't, you're done. Here it comes, right at Javon. Good thing you got what it takes to beat that heat, too. Zantac. It's strong. Just one pill can knock out the burn. It's fast. The speed you need for heartburn relief. And it lasts up to 12 hours. So, let them turn up the heat. You can stop that heartburn cold. Zantac. 37-29 here at Rupp Arena. What's uh, going on elsewhere? Take a look at some headlines. Lance Stevenson, Cincinnati, knocked off UConn with seven tenths of a second. Yeah, he's left. really having an outstanding year as a freshman. In the you, want to, you want to read this? Yeah, one? I wanted to skip this one. That is not Oregon State. No, no, I know, I know, I know. I know it's the Ohio State, State yeah, University. That's right. Sure. Sands Evan Turner, I might add, but yes. Badgers playing good basketball. And then Purdue, very impressive defensively, and they share the ball so well as a unit. They're experienced. They're tough-minded and. They're a legitimate top five, top six team right now in the country. That's funny. We were doing West Virginia University football yesterday against Bobby Bowden and Florida State at the Gator Bowl. And uh, the Mountaineers fans had convinced a Jacksonville radio station to broadcast that game, the basketball game. So we saw folks in the stands in the second half trying to keep up with the Mountaineers and Purdue. Strong powers of persuasion by those Mountaineers fans. Hey, they'll get after you. Earlier this afternoon, Syracuse lost to Pittsburgh. West Virginia losing yesterday to Purdue. So here's the quartet of undefeated teams. Then there were four. Yeah. With bagels on the lost side. And um, I tell you what, boy, you could possibly see maybe all four of these teams, some combination of these teams in Indianapolis in April. Not quite ready to go there yet. I wondered. No, no, no. Okay. That, that is um, in soft cement there. <laughs> you know, you can get stuck in soft cement. <laughs> no, I can't. I won't. Okay. Not with those four. We'll see what happens. Syracuse still out. I think Michigan State is going to rebound and play better basketball as we move through. And conference play is always an exciting time because you really get a chance. Right. Teams in your league know you best. They game plan for you. The intensity picks up. And that's where you see another phase of development for teams when you get into conference play. Samuels at the line. I'll tell you what, that was a well-called play out of the timeout by Rick Pitino. They got it to Samuels. He drove it hard right to the rim and got a three-point play. Now you get into your full-court pressure again for Lord. Delp chasing Bledsoe. We talk a lot about wall speed. Bledsoe has some of his own. He sure does. And Cousins slams it home. 39-32. Cousins double-double, 10 points. 13 rebounds already. That's him. We mentioned in the first half as Harris picks up the bump foul on the perimeter. If you disrupt the rhythm, speed, or balance of the offensive player with the ball, that's called a foul. Second team foul on Kentucky in this half. Seven point game. Largest lead has been by Kentucky 13 twice. Tip, no. Cousins, a little wrestling match with Samuels. Cousins thought he was being held, and he may have a case I, I there. I think he was. Yeah, he was locked up. Yeah, his arms were locked up. But a lot of times in that pain area, Vern, some of the hand fighting will go uncalled or unseen. John Wall will rest, and Darius Miller on for the University of Kentucky. Here's Jerry Smith. Sosa. Swapshire. Number 14 on the right wing. 
Sosa. Whoa. But he does get fouled. Year after year, more people watch CBS than any other network. Thank you for making only CBS America's most watched network. John Wall being tended to there, Vern. He left a few weeks ago when I was here during the North Carolina game. He left for about seven or eight minutes with cramps. It looks as though he may be suffering from cramps again as they're working on the lower part of his left leg, it appears. Yep. Darius Miller out. Darnell Dotson on the floor, number three. And Sosa shoots one more. Preston Knowles on the floor, number two. A blocking foul underneath on uh, Louisville. John Wall. Hey, this was back yeah. um, about a month ago against North Carolina. He gets a rubbing stick out. And then he went to the locker room and was treated there. And Things got a little dicey for Kentucky when he left the game for that extended period of time. Well, he strolls down to the end of the bench. It's not going to be a locker room visit, but he is going to get uh, increased attention. And there's Cousins with two more. Big fella can really do work down on that low box. Eight point degree of difference. Now here's the runner and the follow no good. Rebound, Dotson. Bledsoe, Dotson, Cousins, Patterson, and Ramon Harris on the floor for the Wildcats. Jumper, or three-pointer at him. And Sosa, he's got courage. Left side, not there. On the pass, Cousins. Good foul. Knowles, yes it was. Preston Knowles just was going to make sure the big fella couldn't get free to get to the rim. Boy, Louisville's had a couple of point-blank opportunities here on the last two trips. And when you're on the road, Vern, in a hostile environment against a team that overmatches you, you have to cash in on your high-quality opportunities at a high percentage. Fast break, layup chance doesn't go, an offensive rebound put back doesn't go. You have to get all of those if you're going to have a chance to beat a team that's a little bigger and a little more talented than you on the road. Picks it up. Siva. Oh, wow. Wasn't there. No. Was not there. Bledsoe. How about that quickness? But then. No, it was that. No. So ghosts. <laughs> That's been an issue with Bledsoe, though, here in his freshman season. He leads the team in turnovers at 47 coming into today's game. And Good move to break the, drip, the defense down and then just wasn't quite able to execute the pass out of it. 41-33. Peyton Sita, highly recruited freshman guard. Out of the Seattle area where Louisville has done such great recruiting work. Swapshire with the pump fake. Yes, indeed. That's well done. He's made a three, Vern, so the defender has to. And there's a steal by Siva. And we're right. That's what Louisville wants to do. This is the Cardinals team that Rick Pitino wanted to see at the start. But he'll take them whenever they show up. And right now, they've got a nice rhythm going offensively and with their defense. Nice entry pass. Very deep. But there's... The swat away. Here comes Siva, right side. Swapshire, spin move, offense. Well, that's a no. situation where I think it was an offense. Yes, it was. Yeah. I think that's a situation where Siva probably could have made a better decision with that pass. And being a freshman point guard, he'll learn that and pick it up as he sees the film of this particular play. As Wall comes back to the court now, he still does not look 
completely refreshed. I mean, he looks he's got a glaze of illness about him there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to feel quite as. Let's see how he moves around here, Barney. Knowles follows him. Orton, another steal. This by Dell, and a foul by Orton. And inexorably, Louisville climbs back into this. They this got it where they want it, Burns. Yes. The Cardinals have this right where they want it. They've got Kentucky out of rhythm. John Wall obviously is not 100%. They've turned them over a number of times here in the first half. That active zone has Kentucky struggling to find its offensive rhythm. They've made a couple of threes. They're scoring the ball and not turning it over, so they're able to get into their pressure. This is as close as they have been and what's before within four. After they fell behind at the opening tip, 11 to 1, hit one of their first 18 field goals. 41 37. Swapshire, there's the spin move and hit from behind. He's going to go to the line. Now, do you Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz. Come into the winter event going on now and make all your holiday wishes come true. HTC, phones that get you. And by Bud Light, with the just right taste that's not too heavy, not too light. The difference is drinkability. 41-37, Louisville trailing by only four and going to the line for two. They played quite well in the second half. Right? They really have much more efficiently, a lot more confidently, a lot of conviction being shown by Louisville, and they've made shots. Swapshire has scored seven points after being blanked in the first half. So you can see the swagger of the Louisville Cardinals starting to show up. They've taken better care of the ball themselves, and they've forced a handful of turnovers. And there you see the field goal shooting percentage markedly improved from first half to second half. And now Swapshire will have a chance to make it a two-point game. And he's an excellent free-throw shooter at 83%. Mm -hmm. Really nice-looking all-around player. Played in just about every game last year. Vern did not play a lot of minutes. They had Terrence Williams, right. and Earl Clark, and Andre McGee. But this is a guy that Rick Pitino really thought highly of, even as a freshman, and was counting on him to produce at both ends here in his sophomore season. Well, he gets one more. Tom Jurich, the athletic director, is not here, the Louisville athletic director. He and his wife, Terry Lynn, have a vacation home in my hometown of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and he probably just headed out the door because Swampshire missed both, both free throws. But he called his, his two sons are here. We had a chance to chat. Yeah, with Mark and Brian. Yeah. Mark and Brian. Uh, snow report. Heavy snows, which is kind of what you want in the ski resort. <laughs> so there's my Chamber of Commerce contribution for the, for the afternoon. Well done. Hey, I, I don't know. I did. Oh, I know you don't. <laughs> or should you? Oh, goodness. 41-37, 11-23 to go. And uh, John Wall, he's still... It's a little bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. Patterson to Wall. Now watch him explode. <laughs> Man. Preston Knowles. Right there. Free throws coming from Kentucky. Well, that's pretty good work by Cousins to handle a tough pass and then find a way to split the harassing defenders down there. Cousins, 12 points, 15 rebounds, and got off, uh, if you were not with us, to a very emotional start, as as did uh, this entire game, got off to a shaky start. Look at the uh, contribution he's made with Patrick Patterson. Yeah, it's a dynamic duo, as you see there. That's 32 points, 18 rebounds, high percentage shooting, double doubles to spare. 
A lot for opposing teams to deal with when they see Patterson and Cousins. Sosa. Whoa. Beautiful. Yes, it was. And Louisville with him, too. Boy, no reason to reach in there, Reginald Delk. And he knows it. Penetration, backpedaling defenders. That's an excellent time to drive the ball right up their shirt. And that's what Edgar Sosa did. And they made a tough shot against the challenge by Cousins. But, boy, you get the sense, Vern. Louisville is just really, they've taken the crowd out of the right. building. They've really disrupted Kentucky's rhythm here. That's three straight miss free throws now for Kentucky. And that's a miss on the front end of a one and one. We've gone into the bonus in the corner. Bledsoe. Now Kentucky's going to have to find a way to attack this zone because Louisville's confidence and energy level has really picked up here in the second half. Oh, my goodness. Cousins went for the home run and came up short. And a chance for Louisville to tie or take the lead. Yeah, the launching pad went a little flat on Cousins that time. Sosa on the dribble. Fade away. Whoa! He's a big shot maker. Kid's a big shot maker. We're tied for the first time in the ballgame. We invite you to help Coach Zero create the offer fan experience, and you could win 10 grand. Download the project brief at CoachZero.com slash NCAA. Sosa cans the fadeaway, and we're tied 41 all. Well, you would expect Louisville to continue to apply the heat. John Wall, not 100%. Seems to be suffering a little bit from cramps. So they're going to really try to go at him. Here's Smith picking him up. Bledsoe. Sosa back. And we have just about reached the midway point in the second half. Kentucky's going to have to find a way not only to get it inside the cousin, but to knock down some perimeter shots. But they continue to throw it away. That's the eighth turnover for Kentucky here in the second half compared to only two for Louisville. Jennings fouled by Cousins. And you see the frustration starting to set in. Early on, it was the emotional boiling point for both teams. Way out of control. Nobody was able to reel themselves in. Kentucky did a little better job. Now you see frustration starting to settle in, starting to set in for Kentucky as Louisville has picked it up defensively and has clearly become the more confident, efficient team. This for the first Louisville lead of the ball game. They're on an 8 0 run. Cardinals by one. Barry Stevenson and Ramon Harris replace Cousins and Dotson. Jennings now with five points, four rebounds. One of two. John Wall for Kentucky. Louisville leads by one. Pump fake. Adjustment in the air. Pretty decent shot. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. What a finish. The young fella. Just has the, the net. Yep. Wildcats by one. Edgar Sosa. That's off Jennings. Turnover. Take another look at John Wall. Show the ball, lift the defender, penetrate the seam, anticipate contact, and then just do something that most guys can't do, which is hang, concentrate, and finish while leaning backwards. Not even in your prime? No, no, no. No? I, I would have tried to dunk that, but I couldn't have <laughs> I couldn't have floated and hung like he did. I've got a visual of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't work for me either. <laughs> Uh-oh, what do we got here? Wow. Technical. I 
I missed it. I did not I see what no. transpired there, Vern. Double foul, not a technical, I beg your pardon. On Wall and Jerry Smith. Double foul. Well, let's see Take what we've got here. here. Maybe a little jaw jacking. I didn't see any lips moving. They were they were doing a ventriloquist act there. Unless unless it was it transpired before we saw it. Double technical for join. Yeah, well we yeah. missed the join. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. The officials are a lot closer to it than we are. And from that angle, it's just hard to see either guy talking. But it's done now. A lot of basketball left here in Kentucky. Is going to have to contend with this zone defense. And I don't know if they can succeed if they don't knock down a couple of perimeter shots at some point, Vern. That's right, so. Nice defensive job by Jennings then. And the jumper is good. John Wall. He's in double figures with 11 points. And the Wildcats lead by three. 8 of his 11 have come in this half. And those were two big buckets he makes back to back after Louisville taking its first lead. And he gets the steal. Ball on the floor. Taken by Bledsoe. Wall swatted by Siva. I talked about his poise and his presence, Byron. You're seeing his presence now. Critical time in the game, his team struggling, and he's had his hand in on every single positive play the last three possessions for Kentucky. Foul is on Jerry Smith, and John Wall goes to the line. Out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Cardinals, Sosa's back in. Terrence Jennings is out. Samardo Samuel's back in. And Rakeem Buckles, who is playing with four fouls. Here's Wall. Two for two. Well, since it was 42-41, he's got six points. Yeah. Six straight. Amazing how the defense picks up when you get the ball to go in the basket a couple of times. Smith threw it to air. Bledsoe. Wall for three. Nice no look pass underneath. Seven Louisville with that one of 18 start from the field. They're still just at 30 percent. Uh, what else uh, grabs your attention there? Well, three of ten. They're plus two and three point field goals made. I think to get back in it, they're going to have to make a couple of more turnovers about even. And most of the turnovers for Kentucky have come in the second half. And the difference right now in the game is this guy here, number 11. Louisville up one. He goes into that contortionist move there for a bucket. Splashes the open jump shot there. Gets his hands on a steal that eventually leads to two free throws. So after Louisville had taken that one-point lead, John Wall scored six straight. And then Kentucky got another bucket to make it an 8-0 run. But there you see what he's done. And your leading player, the marquee guys, not only do they have to carry you with their voice and their production, but they have to do it at critical times. And so far, Wall has done that here this afternoon. Delk rattles home that free throw. That ends uh, eight unanswered for Kentucky. 7-12 to go.
Two for two. Delk has seven in this half. Nine in the ball game. And it's a five-point margin again. Eric Bledsoe. John Wall. Harris is on the floor. Patrick, along with Stevenson. Yep. Excuse me, Vern. Patrick Patterson has been really quiet here this half. How about that? Good ball, ball, yeah. Good drive by Bledsoe. Sosa, Samuels, Swampshire, Delk, Jerry Smith for Louisville. Trying to get it inside to Samuels. Good job. Whoa, did he throw the elbow? No, I think he just turned and faced. Right. Good sweep through move. Nice job here by the sophomore. Turn and face and then go right at him. Yeah, nice job. Took that ball through there with strength and was able to draw the foul as Patterson was a little late moving his feet. And Samardo Samuels is going to the free throw line. Young man from Jamaica, excuse me. Not a strong free throw shooter is Samuels. Well, actually reasonably okay, 70% on the season. You have high standards. <laughs> or you look I'd like to see the big guy who's going to get fouled like Tim get to about 75%. But 70 is doable. Yep. And he's actually made good improvement from last year to this year. There you see the numbers. Played for the Jamaican national team this summer. They won the Caribbean championship. 49-45, 630. Remaining in the game. Patterson now in the corner. What? Harris. That's only his third three-pointer of the season at his first points of the day. And another Louisville turnover. Just watching the two coaches, both out of the coaching box, and it looked to me like they were talking at each other. I can't imagine it. <laughs> I think I think I am. <laughs> I did not see okay. that partner, so I can't help you there, but I wouldn't think they'd be conversing no, yeah, with one another at this juncture. I know Rick Patino was upset that Harris got an open look at that right. three-point shot in the corner. That is And a free throw. Vern, you're seeing the two marquee guys for Kentucky take over the game here. Patterson gets the hoop and draws the foul. Good effort here defensively. Wow. Boy, on a second look. That's dangerously close to an offensive foul. Samuels almost got there, but John Wall scored six of the eight in the 8 0 run. Right. And then the last two buckets, Patrick Patterson assisted on. He got the ball in the middle of that zone and kicked it out to Harris for the three, and now he's got a chance for a three point play. 17 points on seven of nine from the field. Another strong effort for Patrick Patterson. And from one down. Three minutes ago, Kentucky on a 14 to 3 run is now up by 10. Swapshire, that's for three. Good look, he's had a heck of a second half. And the opportunity for full court pressure. Samuels remains on the floor, having picked up his fourth foul. Preston Noel Sosa. Out front. Here's Harris. John Wall under five remaining. And Wall goes down. Nice job to split the defenders here in a good strong jump stop. Wall picking his spots effectively against that zone. Wall is three of four at the line today, but Kentucky as a team, nine of 18, only 50%. Delft on 
Curry count for Louisville. Wall shoots one more. to chase it down. Swampshire has it. Let's <laughs> guard Sosa. Knowles goes right. Takes the jumper for three. In and out. Harris rebounds for Kentucky. Wall said, slow it down. So both teams over the limit in foul, so any common foul leads to free throws. You want to make sure you execute here. Be strong with the ball and get a good possession. That's a good place to go with it if you're Kentucky. Samuels plays with five, four. And I think they've got Preston Miller. I agree. Yeah. That That's his second. That's his second. 56 48, 4 10 remaining. Calipari calls Bledsoe over. Dozens at the line where he is two of six today. Well, unless Louisville can knock in some threes here, advantage to Kentucky because of their strength inside. They've got Patterson they can throw it to inside and get something good. They've got Cousins they can get it to inside, and Cousins going to get another free throw here because... Somebody from Louisville was in the lane early. Not sure who it was. No, I wasn't sure either. Seemed like there were a couple of red shirts teetering into that lane before the. And he takes advantage of it. Sure did. Back to a 10 point margin. So so Swapshire dealt Jerry Smith Samuels on the floor for Louisville. Kentucky crowd up yet again. Undefeated third ranked Wildcats in Kentucky going after their 15th win. They need does Louisville a three to fall in the dust. And that was a force now. Bledsoe tripped. Three minutes, 44 seconds to go. Kentucky by 10. Trailed by 13 in the first half, climbed back, actually led by one here in the second. But since they had that one-point lead, Kentucky's outscored them 17 to 6 and is up by 10. Both teams in the bonus. 58-48, 3.44 to go. And Bledsoe at the line. Bledsoe at the line for two. Shoots two. Well, it's simply a matter of Kentucky just continuing to take care of the ball and executing the half court, asserting themselves inside as they have all game, and then knocking down free throws. Louisville, on the other hand, has to be able to knock down some threes, get in the pressure and force turnovers, and try to pick the pace up a bit because the clock is clearly working against them now. Yep. Jerry Smith. As the ball guarded by Bledsoe. Now Ramon Harris picks up Edgar Sosa. And there's Cousins. And watch out for Patterson. Oh, oh my gosh. He, he jammed himself. Wow. Smith for three. What a turnaround. What a turnaround there, Vern. Oh my gosh. This should have been a 14 point lead. Instead, it's nine. You can hear the murmurs in this crowd as Patterson. Is it the second time he's missed a dunk? I'm not sure, but he'll hear about that one. Oh. From his teammates, his family, and everybody else that's in his circle of contact. Seems like he just took his eye off the rim. Yeah. 
tried to go for a little extra bang. Let's so. Don't know about that shot, but he had to take it. There were only three seconds left. And here comes Louisville. 2.30 to go. Got it. Seven-point margin. Well, Kentucky has to keep playing now. They can't try to figure this one is ready for the refrigerator. We've got to still continue to attack. Bledsoe on the baseline, kicks it out. Wall up for Cousins. Whoa, take a trip around the equator. Good play, though, and a big basket there. Yeah. And again, it's John Waller. But yeah, that's right. Well, we're using a lot of time here. They need to attack much quicker. Sosa puts it on the floor. Got it. One twenty-four to go. You don't want to foul here if you're Louisville. You just want to try to force a turnover for a tough shot. And there's the puck. Let's go back to the missed dunk by Patterson. Well, he didn't have enough lift. Let's look at it again. Oh no, he had, he didn't he didn't have enough lift for that one, partner. You've got to launch up. You can't jump out. You have to jump up and over the rim when you're going to dunk it. His launching pad went flat there. Boy, you hate when that happens. Wow. That's all right, P Square. You've had a tremendous day other than that. And if your team can hold on for another 73 seconds, it'll be something to perhaps laugh and smile about. That is the key, is it? That's not? right. Oh, without yeah. question. If that's they the win. Right, right. That's right. There'll be some canoodling going on. Yeah, it'll get lost yeah. in the celebration of the victory. Absolutely. But believe me, his teammates oh. and his buddies from home are going to make sure he doesn't forget about it. And Louisville just continues to play and plug along. So, so with two more. Time call. 64 seconds to go. Brand new record attendance today. 24,479. That's even more than we're here for the uh, 1985 Final Four. 24,479 among those who is here. Rich Brooks, head football coach and uh, probably is going to announce his retirement. He came by to say hi at the half. I just, I just think the world of the guy. Mm -hmm. And boy, has he done something in football here. Yes. Uh, highly respected. Speaking of football, I got a chance to meet Tim Couch for the first time at halftime. Did you know? Yes. And you take a look at Louisville now trying to force a turnover. Trying to disrupt Kentucky. At some point, they'll have to foul. There it yeah, is. There it is. See, out of that timeout, they wanted to try to harass Kentucky into a turnover. And if it didn't happen within 10 or 12 seconds, then they were going to send the Wildcats to the line. And John Wall is at the line. Four of six today. And he's shooting two. Sosa back on for Louisville. Replaces Preston Knowles. Now, if you're Louisville here, you have to attack quickly, assuming John Wall, or if he does, even if he doesn't make the free throw, it's a quick attack. Doesn't have to be a three. You'd love to get a good look at the three, but the key is to get something done quickly at the offensive end. You got to really go into attack mode right away. Sosa, Smith. Yes. Short, but there's Samuels. Muslin tried to get in the corner. Bledsoe comes out to Kentucky. And here is Cousins for the punctuation point. Pretty symmetrical day for Cousins. 18 points, 18 rebounds. Monster game for that young man. Just picked up the foul there. 
had a monster day for DeMarcus Cousins. Early on, emotions for both teams were a bit out of control, yep. boiling over, and once it settled down, actually Cousins was the guy who got Kentucky off to a good start. They got it to him early, and he went to work inside, and he sustained a high level of play since then. Sosa gets one. Got only 31.5 left. DeMarcus Cousins heads to the bench. More ball handlers on the floor for Patino. I'm sorry for um, John Calipari. Easy mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Louisville will, if the free throw goes down, will get into full court pressure. Give themselves a second or two for, for a turnover and then foul immediately. Harris runs the baseline out of bounds after the made basket and a foul is called. On Delt. Patino, Calipari. Bledsoe at the line. He's 4 4 today. Knowles back for Louisville. Coming out is Johnson. And the Louisville checking in is number two. President. Cousins back Coming on for Kentucky. Hey. Another line of defense at the rim, but Louisville will be looking for three point shots hey. in this next possession. Under 30 to go. Sosa fouled by Wall. It's not the Thing you want if you're Kentucky there. So set the line. Dotson out. Cousins back to the bench. Sosa. One more free throw. He's got a talent! And for William check and his number three, Peyton Siva. Siva's on for Louisville now. Ten-point lead. See if Sosa can carve it back to single digits. Yes. Gives him a chance to get into full court pressure. Here's Harris inbounding. Threw it away. Yes, he did. No time left off. No time elapsed. 26.8 seconds to go in a nine-point game. Wow. You know, a lot has to go wrong for Kentucky and right for Louisville, but you try to do it one step at a time, and the first thing is the turnover force. Dotson's out. Cousins back in for Kentucky. Now again, you don't have to necessarily get a three here. If you can get something at the rim, you know Kentucky doesn't want to foul. I'd attack that paint area if you could on the inbound pass here. Swapshower was trying to check in, but was not able to. Nope. So Siva's got to head back yeah. out there. Yeah, because that ball was not touched. There was right. There had been a stop and play there. Interesting now, Swapshire's Pleading his case, hey, I should be allowed to enter the game. Tony Green's going to check. Kentucky also had a sub during the time. Oh, the confusion here, I Yeah. So is my friend, the governor, said to step aside. 70-61, but only 26.8 left. You see Louisville with one timeout remaining. Possession arrow is going their way. Well, you certainly have to get something in the basket if you're Louisville. It does not have to be a three, Vern. Attack that paint. You see the foul situation. Try to get something 
in the paint area. If you don't score it, maybe draw the foul because you want to try to get points and stop that clock. So that's what I would do. I think you call a play where you get something going to the rim, maybe get the old-fashioned three-point play, or at least draw a foul and get to the foul line. <laughs> Swap Shark tried to get back into the floor, on the floor. <laughs> well, they had six men out there. That doesn't work. Oh, good look. Sosa air ball. Here's Wall. Siva's back foul is called before. How about John Wall just avoiding the defenders and still maintaining control of that basketball? That's his speed with the ball. Rick Patino's team really fought valiantly after having just a terrible shooting first half. And then this guy took over and got some help from Patrick Patterson at a key juncture. That's giving Kentucky the room the Wildcats have needed to coast to win, or not coast, but to get to the finish line for win 15 here. Over two for John Wall. Won't matter. No. Other than his percentage. No. Nope. Tip, no. Tip again, no. And a foul on Harris. But it comes with 6.1 seconds to go. Window dressing. Yeah. Is basically what you have now. I thought Kentucky's defense for the most part, particularly in that first half, was really pretty good. Got a little sloppy with the ball in the second half, but credit Louisville's defense. It's not enough shot making from that three-point line for Louisville today. Gary Smith misses the first. But double bonus here, so he'll get one more. Samuels out. Kentucky's going to go to 15 and 0 and uh, look forward to SEC play. Louisville's already played one of the Big East. They defeated South Florida the other night, so they're off to a 1 0 start, but their record for the season will go to 10 and 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kentucky will have Georgia here next week and then go on the road after that to Florida and Auburn. Bledsoe out. Wall foul. Sosa with 4.6 seconds to go. The wall's already set at the line. He's ready. Nothing. These teams don't give an inch, do they? They play it right to the, to the final whistle. A little chippy. Yes, it is. We saw evidence of that at the start in one of the more bizarre starts. Yeah, if, if you went with, with us, Bledsoe was called for a foul eight seconds in and got so upset over the call that Calipari pulled and put him on the bench. Yeah. And that set the tone for a kind of ugly first 45 seconds. Sosa. Nope. Ball game. 